Hello everyone, and welcome to the modding series Creating Your Legion for Total War Attila. In this series, I will be teaching you all of the database modding skills that you will need in order to be able to create a custom battle overhaul. Today we're going to actually make the unit and get it in game. So first of all, open up the pack we've been editing, and now expand it and right click and click add from pack and go to data.pack and we're going to need quite a few tables for this so expand it db we need the battle personalities table so right click on that we need cdir military generator unit qualities table we need land units table land units off the table and land units table we need main units table we need unit description short text table we need units variance table and units custom battle permissions table and now right click add from pack go to local english go to text db we need unit description short text uh, double left click and you want land units not just here and rename it and delete all but one Alright, so we've done that, save it, then now we'll rename them all, and I first will save. Alright, so we've we'll renamed them all and let's save. In case you're wondering, the reason why we add this prefix to all the tables is because cause we're deleting everything. So see this one, we've only got one entry there. If we didn't rename it, the game would think that's the only faction in the entire game and the game just would crash and wouldn't work. So you've got to add a prefix so it knows that it's different. So go to land units. So we're adding a sword and shield unit. So we're in land units table. I'm scrolling to the right to man animation. And I'll sort by animation. And so you want an axe, shield, javelin, horse animation. I oh know you want uh, javelin precursor animation. Ooh, yeah, just any of them. Let's just grab this guy and delete so we've got man axe rome man axe shield javelin precursor horse and we scroll down and we want um this one rome man yeah let's just grab this one i oh know that's camel i want this one because we want we've also got a lance in unit and we'll delete everything else. Alright, so we've got Rome Man, Axe Shield, Javelin, Precursor, Horse, which will be the Raider unit. And we've got Rome Man, Land, Sword, Javelin, Precursor, Horse, which will be the Valkyrie unit. And we're going to do some animation editing to both of them at a later date. And so, at Kill Black Blades, We'll sort by name this time. At kill black blades. Who wants that one? And what's the other one called? At merc est. At merc est. Savaran. 
There's one of these two of iron ones. The iron cataphracts. I and we'll delete all of these except one. I'll explain the purpose of what each table is once I've done this. Okay, right, so we want um we want land cavalry merely. So just delete all step one and we want land infantry merely. And we'll save it. Alright, so this table, battle, battle personalities table, this is related to the officer of the unit. So you've got what officer they are, what uh, variant mesh definition they use, uh, I don't know what that is, uh, whether they're an officer, what animation they use, and no idea what that is either. Uh, this I think this is how good the unit is in auto resolve or like when you click auto fill your army in custom battle then it just picks an army for you. This is related to that. So if you've got over I think it's 50 units per faction you have to set all of these to zero otherwise the game will crash when you try and auto fill if there's more than 50 units per faction. And so it just says what type of unit they are and then the actual unit and what their quality is. Uh, this is officers again, so where the officer is. Do they stay at the front of the unit or the back of the unit? Do they have standard bearers? Uh, musicians don't actually work, so you can have one officer and two different standard bearers and then just the officer information. This is what that uh, unit actually is, so you've got the unit name, accuracy, this does actually have a big effect. It's mostly a hidden stat though. Uh, how much ammo the unit has. <coughs> what type of armor they've got. Uh, how many campaign action points. Uh, because we're not making campaign stuff we don't have to care about that. What type of unit category. Charge bonus. Class. Dismounted charge bonus. So if they're a cavalry unit. they're. Di uh, charge bonus will be higher than the dismounted charge bonus, which you can clearly see there. And same thing with this, the dismounted stats will generally be better than the mounted stats. Then you've got long description text, because uh, I think even if you're making a campaign, this is a useless thing. So you can just keep whatever is already there, because it doesn't change anything. Uh, then you, you can change the animation, which we'll be doing. Uh, entity, that's related to how fast the unit is and how much health they've got, we'll do that. Uh, the stats, the amount. Uh, animals, so this is if they've got war dogs and like what type of war dog or mounts uh, they've got. 80 horses. Uh, their rank def. Uh, their type of shield, short description, spacing. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this does, or this. Uh, what officer they use, not sure what that does, not sure what that does. Visibility, I never really change this. Um, global recharge rate, so you generally want to keep this on zero, because that was set at 41 seconds, so that means uh, the unit can't use any of its abilities until 41 seconds into the fight, and that also means it can't turn abilities off until after 30, 41 seconds and it's just dumb. They just set it to zero. Attribute group, so what kind of special effects thingies it has. 
Uh, more stuff on loose spacing. I've got no idea why it's saying they've got 23 chariots. Maybe I chose the wrong type of unit. Uh, this, they're what they say when you select them. So you can change, so they've got, like, they can have three different types of things they say. Or this unit, they j say the same thing every time you click on them. And I'm not quite sure what that does. Then main units. Uh, campaign stuff, campaign stuff, how heavy they are. I think that's just the UI thing really. Uh, campaign stuff, naval stuff. Uh, that's related to land units table, may as well just keep it the same. The number of men, multiplayer cap, so if you only want uh, a player to be able to recruit one of these, you put it at one. Zero means they can have as many as they want. How much it costs, uh, what type of naval unit it uses, I don't really change this because I've never made naval units. Uh, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Recruitment cost and upkeep cost, that's um, multiplayer, how heavy they are. I don't know why that's set at minus one. No idea what all of those are. That's their unique number, so in factions table we gave the faction a unique number. These guys need a unique unique number as well. I uh, don't know. Uh, encyclopedia, you can't add custom units to encyclopedias, so that doesn't matter. What type of voiceover they use, uh, what UI groups they're a part of, what naval UI group and what tier level they are. Uh, tier level and UI group, they're just cosmetic. Uh, just ha this links to this, so their short description when you hover over the unit. Uh, so this is what the unit's called in main and land units, what's called in short description, what variant mesh definition it uses and what unit card it uses. You may as well just keep all of these the same. Height scale is how high, how tall they are. So like one means there's average height. You can make them like 0 0.5 if you want them to be midgets or whatever. Uh, and so everything will scale, so if they've got a pike, the pike will scale down with them, so it'll only be spear length, and it looks kind of silly. And height variation, how much, uh, so like one guy might be 0 0.05 above, or 0 0.05 below uh, average height. Uh, what faction the unit is, where the general unit and whether you can use it, as a siege attacker or a siege defender. Uh, short description. Okay, so I actually made a mistake earlier in the video. You meant to add land units.lock, not units.lock. So I've added it here. This decides what the name of the unit is in game. Okay, so we'll just do the unit name first. So make sure combo boxes is then turned on. And we'll name our units to uh, TBOC Raider and TWC Valkyrie and we'll go to land units, land units on screen name TWC Raider and then just click add new row and we'll copy th all this so you need this whole long prefix, you need land units on screen name to be able to get it, like for it to refer to the right place. And then we'll just rename the units, Valkyries, Viking Raiders, uh, you don't have to tick this, I don't know what it does but may as well. It's fun ticking stuff. Alright, so this one, it's got unit description, short text, 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 short. So you want to change the thing in the middle to TWC Raider. And then add new row.
Oh no, just, uh, Valkyries are scary, mythical thingies. And... Okay, some pretty terrible descriptions there. That's what we like to see. Uh, save the game. So armor, we'll be changing this in different episodes. You can just keep whatever for most of these things. We're just doing the bare basics. Uh, keep that, you don't need to change it because it doesn't really matter. Uh, keep the horses. Uh, short description. Uh, Oh, yep. Now, battle personalities, let's do the officer. We'll do two officers. Oh, whoops. And we'll do the same animations they have. I uh, know, oh we probably want this there. And land units off, so we want this. We want this. Uh, I thought there was meant to be an officer variant thing. You might have... Oh no, this is variants properly, so... We want them to use their own variants. I might be getting this wrong, hopefully not. Uh, we want the two units. Ah, uh, uh, wrong way round. Um, there we go. Infantry, cavalry, keep the quality, doesn't really matter. Uh, we want, whoops, the faction. We want to put this in here. So we want three entries. We want uh, the Raider and the Valkyrie. And then we also want the Valkyrie to be able to be a General, so we tick on General. So these two, they can be normal units, and the Valkyrie can also be a General. And we want them available in Sieges, both as attackers and defenders. Uh, let's just grab them. Now we go Variants. And just copy and paste over all this. Give them some Height Variant. Uh, let's just save it. Sometimes if you've got used combo boxes ticked on and you click the wrong thing, it'll crash the pack file manager and you'll lose all your progress. So it's generally better not to have it on, although it can be useful. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't shown you what it actually does, so let's tick it on. Alright, so basically now it's on. And so when you click something, it'll give you a choice of like all the different types of armor you can use. Whereas, if you click it off, you can just uh, type whatever here. So, I can just say, uh, yeah. But, uh, so it's good if you're choosing something, but otherwise it can crash your game. Uh, what were we doing now yet? Um, main units, we want... And we want to replace it here. Naval units. Uh, we need to replace the unique index, so... Let's just choose a num random number. Actually, let's make that a zero. Uh, yep. We want to copy the two 
officer thingies. Cool, is officers. Okay, so I realise I've forgotten to do quite a few things. First of all, neither of the UI cards are actually named the right thing. Uh, and second of all, the variant mesh definitions aren't actually in the pack. So we've renamed the two unit cards. Now we'll go to uh, the assembly kit, working data, variant meshes, copy the URL, go to the pack, add directory. And all of these models are uh, things I use. So delete this, variant mesh templates, that's the thing you use in the variant editor. And rename these. And rename this. Get rid of the S. So our unit is now in game and working and I'll test it in a sec. But let's go through what we've done. In the second episode, the first thing we made were these variant mesh definitions with all of these custom models, item port and stuff. Then the second thing we did was we made the faction and we made the faction flag. Then the third thing we did, we made these unit cards and now we've just done all of these tables and text tables. So let's check out how it works in game. So make sure this is the only mod that's turned on, the mod we're making. And now that we're in game, let's go to custom battle. Here's the faction, here's the two units. So it's available as the general, the Valkyrie, and as normal shock cavalry. And the uh, Viking Raider is available as melee infantry. Uh, let's just first one guy. You can see the flag up here. And you can see the faction name up here. Now let's move them over here where we can actually see them. Uh, so you can see, notice how the beard and the clothes are bright pink or purplish. Uh, we'll have to change that, that's to do with the faction colours, which we haven't done yet. You can see the unit works. And same here, they're bright pink, but you can see they work. And if we zoom out, you can see they're not invisible. They've got the imposter models working, but the imposter the purple. Uh, but all up, the unit works. If you hover over it, you can see my terrible descriptions of them. Uh, same with the Valkyries. And so yeah, it's working. <laughs>